All right, well, we've got the reinvention of the garden hose because what you're looking at truly has revolutionized the way that we water our yeah. yards. This is called a bionic hose, and it's called bionic for a good reason. That is stainless steel. And whoever thought of it was thinking so far outside of the box, right? It has become one of our top selling hoses in the history of HSN. Yeah. And there's a reason why. Because you cannot kink it. You cannot get a little break in it because it's stainless steel. And we're going to give you the 100 foot option. It's our best selling option of the heavy duty bionic garden hose. And we're also including for you the uh, straight nozzle on yeah. it as well, which I love having that straight nozzle on it. There it was. The, there it is. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so you get the straight nozzle with it as well. But let us show you what makes this so different. Yeah. I'm just going to start off by saying, yes, Mr. Luke Budo is here. Hi. Of course, our gardening expert. I got to my boat yesterday. You did. Turned on the water, and that little hose like that starts uh -oh. like like a geyser. Right. Do you leave it on the dock? Yes. You leave it on the dock. Okay, so it sits in the sun. Geyser. <laughs> That's a bad thing for a rubber hose. And, and see, there's so many limitations with rubber hoses. That's kind of the problem, right? Yeah. Uh, for instance, you were talking about how the hoses, you can't kink the uh, bionic hose, and it's right. true. Watch this. If I just take two little fingers, I can stop the flow of water going through a traditional hose. Now, if I take my bionic hose, and this is 304 stainless steel, okay? Mm -hmm. Watch this. I'm squeezing that with my whole hand, and I am really putting some pressure on there. I cannot stop the flow of water that's gonna go through this hose. And to Alice's point, just sitting in the sun yeah. is enough to wear down a traditional hose. But I'll show you something fun. Um, so my, I have a concrete driveway. I've got metal uh, furniture in my backyard. I got a chain link fence, okay? So what happens? I drag my hose, because I'm lazy. I'm not gonna like, you know, baby the thing. I drag it around. So over time, this is what happens yeah. to the hose. It wears, it wears, it wears, and that's what happened to your hose right there. You got that hole in it, okay? If I take the bionic hose, put it right here, take that same exact saw, and I could be here all day doing this. I'm gonna wear down the saw, Alice, before I ever <laughs> get into the hose. That's the big advantage of having that stainless steel. Deal. Right. That. Uh, th that's only one of the many advantages to yes. having the stainless steel. First and foremost, it's not just strong. It's so lightweight. I know you look at it and you think there's no way that thing has to, has to weigh 8.77 pounds for a 100 foot hose. Yeah. Look at this. Look. 100 foot. This isn't, you know, you're 25, you're 50, you're yeah. 75. 100 foot hose. And look at it well, weighs compare less. the two of them. So this is, here's yeah. 100 feet of the rubber hose, mm -hmm. right? Here's 100 right. feet of the bionic hose and right. the stainless steel. 15 pounds, 15 pounds, where are you? There you are. 15 yeah. pounds for the rubber hose and eight pounds, as you said, for the bionic hose. So it's a seven pound difference. It's almost half, but it's not just about the weight. It's about how compact this is. Right. I have a bucket sitting on the table over here. Let's yeah. take a look in this bucket. Because once you unleash that oh, beast. that's it. It it'll never, never it'll never, never look that good again. Comes back like that. So well look at this. Here's a traditional <laughs> bucket you'd use to wash your car or do anything. Right. That's one hundred feet <laughs> of bionic hose in this bucket. You know? And again, it's just like look, it's so lightweight, but yeah. So easy to work with, so easy Love to this use. Hose. Yeah, I Love mean, it. it really is a great hose. Now, one of the things that I think happened to you too, especially with the uh, problem you're having outside, is watch this. If I take the bionic hose, this is a heat gun, okay? This is not a blow dryer, all right? This is used to strip paint, to take up adhesive, to do all kinds of things in construction. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it right on here, I'm going to turn it on. Let me make sure it's on the high speed. There we go. Okay. And I want you to see what's gonna happen. And I think we kind of know that in a few seconds, this rubber hose is gonna start to break down. And that's gonna become, you can smell it already. You smell yes, it? Yes, I yeah. do, thank okay, you. Okay, I'm gonna take that <laughs> I'm away. I'm downwind here. Now, I'm pretty sure we can see that. Okay. Now look at the bionic hose though. Other than yeah. a little bit of rubber coming off the rubber hose, it hasn't been damaged. And I'll even go so far as to say, if you're working out in the hot sun yeah. with the bionic hose, you can still grab it because it reflects heat, unlike a rubber hose that absorbs the heat. That's why the bionic hose doesn't break because down. Because I think a lot of people were wondering, is this gonna get too hot in the No, sun? I thought it would. The first yeah. time I used it, I, I, was, know. Like, I was like picking it up like, mm -hmm. you know, no doesn't get hot. I just can't believe it's so lightweight. It's just, it's crazy. Listen, uh, we have 800 of these to go around and, and that's it. We don't even have any of our other choices. It's just been one of our top sellers. We're trying to get more, but frankly, right now, about 800, am I right, Pat, about 800? 
Yeah, of our 100 foot, okay? It's priced at $42.45. You may never have to buy another hose for the rest of your life. This is stainless steel that you're looking at. Just lightweight, so durable, but it works beautifully. We're gonna go out to uh, to Lou, who is water in the yard. I'm water in the grass. Well, I wanna show you the difference, and this is really dramatic. We've got just a few knots in this green hose right here, in the rubber hose. And you can see there's just a little tiny bit of water coming out of it, not a whole lot. And they're attached to the same spigot. Look at the bionic hose, the difference there. And I want you to see the knots in the bionic hose because the knots in the, the first knot is like a double knot. And then I've got about a dozen knots all the way down. So it really is a dramatic difference between these two. You can't stop the flow of water from the bionic hose. Now, the other thing I wanna show you is how easy it is to work with. So come on with me. We're gonna go over here to this path. We've actually got two hose reels set up, okay? Uh, the reel over here has your traditional garden hose on it made out of the rubber. Now, when you look at this, it barely fits on here, 100 feet barely fits on this reel. It's heavy, it's clunky, I wouldn't be able to fit another piece on there. Come on over to the Bionic hose. Now, this is 100 feet of the Bionic hose, and that looks really good. I mean, there's plenty of room. In fact, I'm gonna put another 100 feet on there, but before I do, I'm gonna pick this guy up, and I want you to see, Alice, look at the difference mm -hmm. and how this moves on pavement. Now, if you've ever worked with a rubber hose, you know they're heavy, they drag on the pavement. This looks like quicksilver going back and forth on here, because stainless steel has less friction on the ground than a rubber hose. So if I attach these 200 feet length of the bionic hose together, now watch this, watch how easy it is for me to reel this in right here. Look at that, how it just glides onto this reel. I mean, I'm just guiding it with my hand, but I'm not sweating. I can talk the entire time I'm doing this because it's very easy, Alice. It's very simple to get this in. Look at that, all the way up and 200 feet, look at the comparison. Yeah. 100 feet, 200 feet, and I'll blow your mind one more time. This is 100 feet in this bucket right here, in this flower pot, so if you live in a place where the HOA says, guess what, you can't have a hose reel, you can just put it right into your flower pot. I know, so this Simple. is gonna be perfect for your boats, for your RVs, all of it. And look, it fits right here in the bucket, it's amazing. This thing is crazy cool. I wish you would try it. Just get it home and experience it. I think that a lot of times you see something visually on TV and you just can't imagine how stainless steel can be this flexible, but it is this flexible. And like I said, how many of these green hoses have yeah. we bought over the years? Um, a whole bunch of them. And in fact, you may never have to buy another hose again. It's true. Because be stainless steel, you know, it's why they make uh, surgical tools out of oh, it. Oh, yeah. They make, um, yes. they make hands out of it because it is so tough. Look at this, though. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you but. live up north right now, you're looking out the window and you're mm -hmm. thinking, I got ice. I got snow. The kids aren't going to school in Las Vegas, for God's sakes. Look at this right here. <laughs> they aren't? No, they're in not. Vegas? First time ever. <laughs> that is a bionic hose frozen in a block of ice. Now, not only will water still run through that, okay, but it won't break the hose. If you took a rubber hose and it had water in it and you froze it, they explode because the water expands as it freezes. It would explode. The bionic hose won't do that. And here's a really great point about this bionic hose. Why did they go to steel? Have you ever had the misfortune of having one of the lines for your washing machine, your clothes washing machine burst? Mm. I have. It's not fun because <laughs> the water just keeps running. Thank God I was home when it happened. But the plumber, when he came in, he said, you know what? You don't need rubber hoses. You need metal hoses on there because this has a traditional flexible hose inside of it with all these metal windings around it, this 304 stainless steel. And this is the magic. This is what makes these so strong. So your house puts out, let's say, about 60 PSI, pounds per square inch of water pressure. The bionic hose is made to withstand up to six 100 PSI. Wow. So it's 10 times stronger yeah. than it actually needs to be for your house. And that's why this is just gonna last. I've had mine now, I've replaced every hose I own, yeah. and I've had mine now for going on three years, I wanna say. You'd never know that they're older. Yeah, look at this. and it's light, right? Look, look, it's amazing. <laughs> look.